Despite 10 consecutive interest rate hikes, homes were snapped up in under a week in several Perth suburbs during the month of March. Now, properties in Greenfield sold in a median of five days, with Coolangup, Beachborough, Huntingdale, Leeming, Merriwa, Piara Waters, Port Kennedy and Waikiki recording six days. Now, seven more suburbs recorded a median of seven days on the market. So buy interest remains strong with good attendance at home opens and many properties receiving multiple offers, some even before an inspection. Now, sales figures even exceeded 1,000 in two different weeks in March when they have done so only three times this year so far. Now, speedy sales weren't limited to the above suburbs with the median time on market for the whole of Perth at just 13 days. Wow, it's so fast. Now keep in mind, the fastest median time to sell here in Perth over the past 23 years has been less than 13 days only once, and that was 12 days in March of 2021. So potential buyers should make sure they have their finances in order so they are ready to make an offer when they see a property they like, and you can do that by reaching out to one of our team here. Now, let's talk the Perth property market for March. So Perth continues to hold firm in the face of interest rate rises with CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increasing 0.5% in March and up 1.9% over the year. Now several suburbs recorded strong price growth during the month. So the top performing suburbs for house price growth in March were Sorrento up 4.7% to $1.362 million, I should say. Dayton up 2.6% to $492,500. Yokein was up 2.1% to seven. $715,000, Medora Bay was up 2% to $650,000, and Wanneroo was up 1.8% to $499,000. Now, Armidale, Maddington, Callaroo, Bertram, Eglinton, uh, they all recorded a solid growth as well. Now, while growth is still occurring, it's moderate, which is good news for both buyers and sellers, and that's coming from Kath Hart, the CEO of Rewa. Now, she said it means housing remains affordable for those who are looking to buy, while at the same time, sellers are seeing of their value of their property maintained. Now, let's turn in over and have a look to listings for sale. So there were 7,224 properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of March. Now this is up 2.1% on February, but 7.3% lower than the same time last year. Look, seller confidence remains positive with people still bringing properties to market in March at reasonable levels. Now, it might look like there is a bit of a property shortage going on in Perth, but the reality is it's the speed of sales that is limiting the number of properties available for any one time. As soon as they come on the market, they're gone. Now, Rewa.com weekly data showed that property listings have remained below 8,000 and close to 7,000 since December 25, so very low levels of listings. Now, turning our head to Perth's rental market. Perth's median rental price was 550 bucks a week for March. This was $20 higher than February, which is up 3.8%, but it's up $90 or almost 20% higher than March 2022. Now the shortage of rental properties and growing demand means rent prices are continuing to rise. Now these factors will maintain the pressure on the market and the reality is, is that more rental increases are expected. Now the suburbs that saw the most rent price growth were Inglewood, which was up 44% to 620 bucks a week. Mosman Park up 43% to 600 bucks a week. Wembley up 29% to 550 bucks a week. Mount Lawley up 29% to 580 bucks a week. And North Coogee up 27% to 700 bucks a week. And there were 1,956 properties for rent on Reba at the end of March, which is a welcome increase on the 1,700 that was at the end of February, but it's still about 17% lower than the same time last year. And it took a median of 14 days to lease a rental during March, which is unchanged from February, but two days faster than March a year ago. Now, Reba.com data shows the suburbs recording the fastest median leasing times were Palmyra, Averley, Clarkson, Inaloo, Thornley and Wilson all at nine days, and then Chewett Hill, Balcatta and Crawley and East Frio all at 10 days. Well guys, that is all from me today. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference guys, that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.